Welcome to MH2801 video segment on order of a partial differential equation. In this video segment, you will learn about how a partial differential equation can be classified according to the order of its partial derivatives. For example, consider the Laplace equation. This equation is frequently written as the Laplacian of a scalar function which is del 2 phi over del x square plus del 2 phi over del y square plus del 2 phi over del z square being equal to 0. In this equation, we find no time dependence, no time order derivative, and therefore its order with respect to time is zeroth order. However, in this partial differential equation, we find that the highest spatial derivative that occurs with respect to x is the second order. Therefore, and we check that also, the partial derivative with respect to y and with respect to z are both second order. Therefore, to summarize, the Laplace's equation is zeroth order in time and second order in space. Now let us consider a second example, which is Schrodinger's equation, which you might be learning right now in PH 2101. The time-dependent form of Schrodinger's equation is given by ih bar del psi over del t equals to minus h bar square over 2m the Laplacian of psi plus v which is a function of x and t multiplied to psi which is a function of x and t In this equation, we find that the highest partial derivative that appears with respect to time is del over del t. Therefore, Schrodinger's equation is 
first order in time. On the other hand, if we look at the other partial derivatives, the highest partial derivative with respect to x, y, and z are all second order. This means that the Schrodinger's equation is second order in space. Let's now look at a third example, the diffusion equation. In this equation, the time derivative del rho over del t of a concentration variable rho, which is a function of space and time, is given by del rho over del t equals to capital D times the Laplacian of rho, where capital D is the diffusion constant. Now if we inspect this equation, we will find that the highest partial derivative respect to time that appears is first order, while the highest partial derivative respect to space is second order. <coughs> Let us look at the next example, which is the wave equation. In this equation, the wave displacement is given as y, which is a function of x and t. And the wave equation itself is written as del 2y over del x square minus 1 over c square del 2y over del t square equals to 0. Now, if we look at the partial derivatives with respect to t, then we find that the highest order derivative that occurs is second order. Similarly, the highest partial, or partial derivative with respect to space is also second order. Therefore, the wave equation is second order in time and also second order in